final solo performance this evening will be from 16-year-old Patricio Molina. This is Patricio's second year in the Corolla program, and he's been in the United States for a little over two years. <laughs> My name is Patricio Molina, and I'm the director of the Corolla program and the conservatory at the New York School of the Arts. Yeah. On this special anniversary of the 25th year of the program, I would like to speak with alumni, students, teachers, to share the stories that have made this program so impactful in the lives of so many people. All right, so I think it's a concert. Uh, we'll see you around one o'clock, okay? So the school is located in um, the, an area of Newark known as Lincoln Park. It is uh, celebrating more than 50 years of existence. But I think what makes Newark unique is its diversity. Each ward has its own culture, but it is diverse within itself. So you can go to any ward in the city and see that there are diverse group of individuals and ethnicities that are around the city. I've had the pleasure of being involved with Corolla mid-year concert. It's in partnership with New Jersey PAC's education program, and it provides financial assistance to students who demonstrate exceptional talent. A skilled musician, a teacher, mentor, administrator, and leader of the Newark School of the Arts, Mr. Stephen Shiner. This is the component that we don't do. We don't have the beautiful hall and the unbelievably trained people here who can make something like this and, and really carry it off in a way that otherwise couldn't be done. The environment of performing at NJ Pack, it really grew out of a, a, another experience that at the end of the year we had concerts generally where Everyone participated. We gave opportunities regardless of, a, of levels of achievement or certainly their economic circumstances. And bringing those things together, I can't think of anything more exciting than that. He wants to become a music teacher, and if he continues to find music and composers like this, he will most certainly become a unique professor. So let's welcome professor-to-be, Vic Ortiz. Uh, my name is Vic Ortiz. I'm an alumni from the Corolla program. Oh, I'm also a professor, teacher, <laughs> yes. Well, when, when doing music, something that, um, that needs to be done in general is know about the composer and know about where they came from and know at least something so that it helps you interpret the work. I was trying to look for a black composer for Chideha um, so that she could at least see like there are people like her, you know, that do this. So I stumbled upon Valerie Coleman, which kind of like an appropriate, more appropriate level for, for Chideha to play. It was my first big stage ever performing for anybody and it was just how like legit everything really was it was shocking as we all know these performances this evening would not have been possible without the talent and dedication and musicality of our wonderful wonderful teachers I'd ask them to please join me on stage Karina Brook The educational aspect that sets Corolla program apart from any other program is the fact that the lessons are twice a week. Provides a lot of nurturing, a lot of bonding between a student and the teacher. They learn the value of learning, the value of communication. I'm going to go off the script for a little bit because I wanted to share an uh, interesting story that just happened here as well. I came to this country when I was 13 years old. 
My stay in this country, it was only going to last two weeks after this point. So I was getting ready to go back to Chile. And at that moment, there was a, a woman and she said, you know, there is a, a great program in Newark, the Corolla program, and I want you to audition. And took me to Newark. And I remember the executive director then, Mr. Scheiman, said, we have a, a program for you. You fit perfectly here. And Mr. Scheiman just runs up the stairs and says, Krina, Krina, and takes me to the fourth floor. If I'm not mistaken, you were playing the Schubert. And it was so exquisite, with so much understanding. A young man, very shy, a young man with no English. And here you are. We may not see each other for a year, but when we come together, it's like a family reunion. Mr. and Mrs. Carollo would greet every student with something personal. They remember. It's not just a mere you know, student 101, student 102, this one plays piano, this one plays the flute, this is a vocalist. They know their family stories. They are invested, they were always invested, and we became a family. Unfortunately, over the 25 years of joy that this program has brought to so many students, alumni, teachers, this program began its inception through a tragedy that, thanks to the generosity and the resilience of the Corolla family and friends of the Corolla family, this program would have never influenced so many lives. Our son Jeffrey was an amazing musician. Since the time he was five years old, he could read music. He loved playing the piano and the guitar. He composed songs, he participated in bands, and later formed his own group. After college, Jeffrey was planning to pursue a musical career. Then, 25 years ago, our son was taken from us. His mother, Judy, and I felt into deep depression. Until our best friend, Frank Calabrese, also Jeffrey's godfather, through his continual persistence of calling, convinced us to go to dinner with him. Over time, we met with another friend, Raymond Chambers. We are fortunate to have such special people like Raymond Chambers and his wife, Patty, whose compassion and generosity created this Jeffrey Corolla Scholarship Fund, along with the Amelia Art Foundation. We met different people. We met the teachers and the students. When, uh, Knowing how much it meant to the students, how much it meant to the parents. So that memory um, made us feel a lot more comfortable with the scholarships and feel better about it. My name is Adar Tello and I am a former Corallo Scholarship. I think being one of the younger uh, in the whole program at the time, I really benefited from listening to um, my older peers play all the big pieces, and it was really motivation for me as well. You're graduating um, with computer science. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So computer science and music are both not scientific but creative activities for me. The diligence of being a musician of practicing long hours carries on into my other aspects of life, whether it's studying for big exams or really searching for solutions for, for problems I might be stuck with for a while. So they definitely meet each other in ways that I would have not guessed. Uh, my name is Gabriel de los Santos and I've been with the Corolo program for nine years. <laughs> I feel like throughout my uh, Corolla journey, I feel like the, the biggest one for me was getting to perform at uh, Showtime at the Apollo with Steve Harvey. 
coming from a Hispanic family or just seeing anyone Hispanic on you know American television is, is something big and I feel like I not only got to represent the school but you know representing my heritage representing Dominican Republic I also got to open up for the uh, Celia Cruz um, uh, all-star band which was amazing That's huge. yeah so for us to be that young and like you know actually be taken serious is, is big. I was a teacher, a piano teacher at uh, Newark School of the Arts, and I was involved with the Corolla program. And I had many students. What do you learn from the Corolla program that you brought to Brazil? Maybe about potential. And I'm going to get really emotional. I'm sorry. Um, I've had so many students. Um, come in very shy and, you know, um, not really sure about what they wanted to be in throughout the years, just see them uh, become incredible people. And of course, music was always there for them, you know, like a best friend. You know, we, ha we, we have two alumni here, right? Uh, me too, I'm an alumni too, obviously. <laughs> you are too, exactly. But, but like a question for Ayla and Caroline. Can you tell me from your side how, you know, Nadine, who was your teacher, and the program in general saw you and build that potential? I mean, I feel like that program, it reaffirmed my purpose, you know? It gave more meaning to my life. Miss Nadine was always my biggest fan, you know, even when I wasn't a fan of myself, you know, so her believing in me, that's something that I'll, I can never take for granted. Ayla Davis, accompanied by Nadine Herman. like a mom to me honestly she was like my musical mother oh that's beautiful yeah i'm sorry what about you, I'm, nice. <laughs> well, I'm, 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 I'm literally crying because it's ayla said it all like nadine she, she doesn't have kids but we are her kids like her dedication towards us is just right. wild i went to france to sing she came with me I went, I spent two weeks, three weeks in Nice, she was there. I sang in Boston, she was there. Like her whole life revolved around us and making us better. I would not be here today or be where I am today without Nadine Herman. was many years ago I doubt if anyone would know of course Caroline Braga and Ayla Renee Davis they really took the vocal program to a whole new level just absolutely spectacular singing how many of your students have received a governor's award well we have Ayla Renee Caroline Israel Hernandez Gabriel de los Santos and now Angel Martinez through these performances, these kids, their lives have also changed in other ways. I want to say one thing. They're also all academic achievers. And your own student, Caroline, she just graduated as a How could I have forgotten? from Columbia. Columbia. Right. Columbia, and now I'm um, graduated with honors from Seton University and is a lawyer. Wow. It's a big wow. Music and the arts are not only important for one's own development, but it's also important for society, helping with diversity, with inclusion in a world of, of classical music that desperately needs it. I do think when we see all some of the alumni and hear back from the alumni, and we, we really start digging into building that network, there are ways in which we can, as a community, think about how to expand the opportunities for the students. I think there are ways in which we might be able to, depending on where the alumni are, how they can fold into and support, how we can 
come together and keep elevating in it and advocating for arts education for the students. Dreaming is not the, not the challenge, right? It's then pacing it out, figuring out how to do it, have the capacity to do it, and then do it.